Hello, uh, yeah, uh, here I am uh, for today's review. This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, as you can see, I'm sat in my Klingon throne. Uh, uh, I bought it uh, a couple of days ago. Very happy about it. And uh, it's very comfortable and completely in love with it. But let's get on to what's truly this review is about. Uh, Star Trek The New Voyages, Star Trek Continues, Star Trek Phase 2, it's now Star Trek Continues, superb, absolutely superb, been following this since it first started and I think Paramount Studios and CBS could learn something from these people. Uh, right, I've just watched the episode of Mind Sifter, uh, they've got a new captain on, I don't know where Vic what. Miss, miss you mate, you know, you play a superb Captain Kirk, as does James Corley. Uh, Brian, you did an awesome job, so I'm not complaining. I think you guys work so hard for what you do uh, to give us so much entertainment. So I'm going to ask all the fans, just keep sending the money in as long as they keep making this. You know, if this were weekly, this would be awesome. And trust me, the big TV studios can learn so much from you people. Uh, right, so on to the episode. What an amazing episode. When it started, I thought it was, uh, you know, I thought it was like Kirk and his mind in the mind sifter, you know, when they're like, you know, when they brainwash people and they think they're somewhere where they're not. And, and, and where it built up to and where it was going was pretty intense stuff, the whole thing, you know. So we got all that and it was like, what's going on? Kirk we're in this room running about, orderly's chasing him, obviously in a, an asylum. And then it moved on to uh, the credits, great credits as usual, awesome. You know, it, it so takes you back, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, it, like I said, if these were like on every week, you know, I'd so love it. You know, but anyway, uh, you know, you, it's going on and uh, he's being tortured and he's, you know, he's in this sort of like delusional state. This is what you're thinking. And then you jump ahead to uh, Spock on the Enterprise. He gets called in to be an admiral by the admiral, sorry, and uh, he gets made captain. Uh, the crew find it a bit funny, you know, and stuff. He, he walks on the bridge in Kirk's top, you know, the gold uniform. Crew uh, a bit disturbed by this because you know Kirk's gone, uh, but Spock is like you know he takes the job. He's a bit unsure sure of himself, but he's got that cold Spocky, Spocky illusioner about him. The actor that plays him absolutely superb, made the part his own in my eyes, and it just it moves at a very intense pace. Then back to Captain Kirk, and then eventually we see the Klingons, you know, and it's core. Uh, and it's all like the really doing Kirking, you know, and uh, uh, it's all about where's Gateway, you know, which is the, the you know, the doorway to time, uh, the big circular thing, I, f oh, I forgot what it's called, you know, but it's, uh, it goes into that and, uh, you know, the Klingons take him there, I like the name, Gateway for the planet, and, uh, you know, the, the car's really getting off on torturing him. And they think the Federation is going to use it all to time travel, time weapon to destroy the Klingons. And, uh, you know, it just it keeps going on from there. You know, and anyway, Kirk escapes. And it all comes out that the whole thing where it's not the Mind Shifter. The Mind Shifter's really screwed him up. Uh, you know, uh, he jumps into the time portal and he ends up back in 1958, which is, you know, the finding wandering around outside the town with no shoes on, his Starfleet uniform on. And they put him in a sanitarium. And, uh, you know, the whole episode's great. He goes back. Uh, Spock's been set on a mission. And he jumps, uh, starts getting mind echoes, calls from, you know, Kirk's psychic link with him. And he figures it out. Bang, straight to the planet. Plop, Spock plays this beautiful strategic game with the Klingons. And that's it. And they go and get Kirk. Uh, interesting thing with Kirk and the... Doctor, woman, she, they start developing this really intense relationship. She starts to believe him. And when they come to shave him, she wants to go with him, but the cat, obviously, she's got some kind of destiny to play out in the past. You know, but, he, you know, they tell her we come from a much better world. And that's what I so love about Star Trek. This episode put the spirit of Star Trek into it. They, the sex, the creativity of it all, 
He's just unbelievable. You know, I'd have these on Blu-ray. If they, if they released every episode of this on Blu-ray, I'd have it. So, you know, the acting... I mean, come on, right? I know some people are going to complain about the acting, but I think after a couple of minutes, you get past that. You know, these guys put the heart and soul into it. And, you know, what they're producing every week is awesome. You know, every time they're... I mean, they're working hard on what little funds they've got. And they're making... They're coming out with top quality episodes. Look at Axe now. The 20 minutes of that is just incredible. And, my God, I can't wait for Renegades as well. And I'm a big fan of Lexington. You know, just keep this stuff coming, guys. You know, uh, you've got my support. You've got my friend's support. You know, 10 out of 10... Definitely. Live long and prosper, and I'll see you on the next review. Bring it on.